We've heard about the endless number of uses for drones, but there's also the safety aspect that needs to be taken very seriously. News Channel Line's Jeff Kulikowski tonight takes us to a test lab in Syracuse where they're purposely recreating some very dangerous drone failures. All the work going into this study in the warehouse at the Center of Excellence in Syracuse is meant to replicate some of the worst case scenarios involving one of the most popular drones on the market today. They're taking a three pound drone and dropping it from various heights between 20 and 50 feet and then watching it hurtle through the air. Uh, one can imagine that it's you or me sitting there and it's whacking us in the head or whatever. Now it's nice to have the instrument of dummies. There are 13 high-tech sensors in this dummy, which comes from a globally respected crash test company in Buffalo. It's an impact test here where Glauser's team is able to measure things like acceleration and force to help us all understand the damage one of these small drones can cause if it fails, falling out of the sky with someone below. When we drop the drone flat, that impact is spread out over a much broader area than when we dropped it at an angle. Basically, at this end, that was like a knife coming down. Well, there's no sensors in these packages of pork ribs that they also drop drones on. Why? Because they say it most simulates the human body. And their test did not break the packaging or the skin, but did crack a rib. So there's design suggestions that we can make to the industry to minimize the negative impacts that we would find here. Knowing that with the expected proliferation of drones in the skies in the years to come, there's bound to be failures. But hopefully, nothing as dangerous as the ones we're seeing here. Jeff Kulikowski, News Channel 9. Now, Glauser and his team have also collected data by dropping drones on a ballistic gel used by the FBI and military for tests because of its ability to simulate the human body.